welcome back to my channel so in today's video I did something completely different out of my comfort zone and I'm so glad I did it I'm so glad I'm gonna share this with you guys I am filming my intro after the the tour because I just I've had just so much to do today I've just got to sit down and film this part and I've also filmed the end so I am wearing the same thing so I wanted to share my Ruby Falls experience with you guys it was amazing um, it's really pretty I don't think my video can explain about how pretty it was I really think you guys should go check it out I think our tour guy's name was Jim he said if you guys liked him, liked me my name is Jim if you didn't like me we never met we never spoke but his name was Jim he was very nice he was funny he was um, great he was great at explaining everything that he that was around and it was just really good okay so I don't want to take up your time guys if you want to see my Ruby Falls experience just keep on watching all right guys we are finally here we are so high off the ground let me tell you though the last time I went on a hike or anything like that I was walking on a broken ankle for two miles Let's hope this is nothing like that because I'm terrified. And um, let's hope that this waterfall is gonna be no. listening because <laughs> I'm about to pay some money to walk down a trail and see a waterfall. Okay guys, so we're about to go in. But right now we're just showing in the gift shop. We look at this stuff. This is so pretty. Everything is rocked. Um, I know I want to get a snow globe from my collection because I love uh, just get having a quick of my favorite souvenir to have this cute like from places. So I know I want that. I don't know if we're gonna come back to get that afterwards. But everything is so pretty and I'm so like rocky. And, yeah. I, I don't even know what I want. Yeah, it smells like old water down here. I don't know if that's normal. It's all small in the elevator too. But, um, I don't know. Nothing ends up really happening yet. So we have to wait for the tour guide to come out to the construction. So the tour guide talked to us. He said that it's about like 60 degrees down here. And the tour is one hour. Um, we are just now heading in with the little video I think about. I have no idea. We're about to find out. Some dripping from the ceiling, wet floors. Uh, so please watch your footing in those areas. Uh, there also will be handrails if you utilize the handrails. Um, let's see, when I talk to the group about the factual information about the cave, I will make sure the whole group hears it, but if the back hears me talking to the front, it's usually talking about my daughters or some kind of where you're from, uh, just general information. So I'll make sure I include everybody on here. Please refrain from the use of gum and tobacco products. Stay with your guide and follow the safety instructions. Watch your head, watch your step, and use handrails where provided. Thank you. Oh, yes, that was the right call. 
Ruby and I have seen just about everything together. We come around the bend and see a new adventure. She takes my hand and off we go. Now, the minute I heard the historic tales of Lookout Mountain Cave, I felt that first pull. The mountain calling me in. I wanted everyone to see this underground cathedral, but the entrance was sealed. The railroad needed that passage for their line. Time to give up the dream, right? No, sir. I started planning. It took near a decade. The investors took a chance on us, and we bought the land above the cave. The autumn leaves were falling as we started drilling in 1928. We were on our way, opening a new entrance into the cave. The crew worked from around the clock, cutting a shaft from an elevator. That's right, an elevator. 420 feet straight into the heart of the mountain. We pulled up bucket after bucket of limestone, enough to build a castle. Then, at 260 feet, the unexpected happened. A burst of air from an opening into the unknown, 18 inches tall. I swear it's summoned to me. If our drills hadn't stayed true, if our aim had been a few feet in either direction, we would have missed it. Something we weren't even looking for in the first place, but we found it. Or maybe it found us. So down we went, crawling through the dark, with the mountain on our heads, and crawled for an hour. Three hours, six hours before we could stand. Ruby's up there, waiting for me. But the same thing pulling me back is pushing me forward. Towards the I don't know why I said that. It was the
I'm so glad I actually got the guts to actually film in public and talk. Um, I know the flash isn't on because I don't want to like disturb anybody and like be annoying, but. I really oh, I've got two things like this. I think this is amazing. I can't wait to get to the waterfall though. Don't drink the water. 
And when we go in, the light show is on a timer. Uh, there should be enough time for everybody to hang out, take pictures, ask questions if you have any. Um, also, uh, when you go in, it'll be a slight incline, it'll be a little wet. I'll stand there with my flashlight so you can see the, how wet the floors are in there. Uh, let's see, also when you go in, please share the view. Uh, meaning that people who get to the front, please eventually let people in the back get to the front and see the balls up close to person. Um, now this whole cave system was formed by water erosion from the waterfall. Uh, and the whole ecosystem of the cave is very rain dependent. So the more rain we have, the more dripping action on the formations, the higher the streams are, and the more powerful the waterfall is. Uh, the day before Valentine's Day, we had lots of rain, and we closed for flooding. We were about, uh, I guess, mid thigh And where it starts is by the um, bacon and potato chip area, that's the lowest part. And also, conversely, if we don't have rain, the waterfall has been basically just dripping at times. I've never seen that, but so. Yeah, uh... So you reached the point as when you were talking, the last part of the clip that you guys saw was him talking that's where we're gonna go in and see the waterfall. Um, I'm just gonna start filming right now because I want to have my exact reaction through the camera. <laughs> So that was the front of that line. Oh. That was the front of that line. Oh. Okay. 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 O
Um, it was it was amazing. I think you guys need to go for yourself. The video what can it explain about how pretty it was? I just love things like. This. I also picked up a snow globe. This was the only one they have, but it is still really cute. It's like people standing at the Tennessee River. Tennessee That's where all the water goes the from. Glitter. Uh, I don't like how crazy. The glitter is crazy. crazy how you're kind of so stuck on the wall. But Whoa, you're so these, I don't know. These snow globes they, they tend they're to like so waterfall like, evaporate like, or something like that. That's like, crazy. Like, That's so wall. pretty. I and have. I'm just like. I just can't wait to go on another adventure. I hope I can take you guys away. I did. I um, I know that this video is going to be super, super long. Uh, I knew like, I'd rather I have a glass one, one but it to be I'm not sure that it, it really is. is. Um, I hope this is an edit yet, though, water so it might be a little bit shorter. I think it's about like 20. America's largest underground waterfall open to the public. And I got this for $10. Not too bad. But... Yeah, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope I will see you guys in another video like this. Um, and yeah, let's see you in this video. I'll see you guys next week.